G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now I'm gonna do a resin little tray thingy. Um, you don't have to turn them into a tray or a bowl, you can just put it on one of those plate stands and display it somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a 20 centimeter or eight inch diameter mold. And I'm gonna use one of these uh, silicone stamps. Uh, just get them on um, Amazon or Etsy. There's lots of different shapes. Now, today with my little stick, I'm going to do kind of like a wavy pattern instead of just a normal rounded petal. So I'm going to, and I've just seen a hair, um, I'm going to use this one. So it's got a protective cover on it like that. So peel that back and then just peel the one that you want off. So, there it is, see it's clear, that's just a purple picture. So I've got different shapes and sizes of these, there's little tiny cute ones if you're just doing a little coaster, have some leaves, anyway, this is the one I'm going to use today. So work out where your centre is, let's make sure it's in the centre before I push it down, so that's 7.2. 7.3, almost there. 7.2, gee, <laughs> that was pretty good, wasn't it? Pretty good with the old estimation. Just move it down just like a millimetre. All right, there we go. So press him down. Silicone sticks really well to silicone, so I haven't had any sort of uh, resin flowing underneath, but make sure that your mould and your stamp are both clean. If they've got dust in them, obviously you're not gonna get a very good seal. So I am gonna go over this now with my gold Deco color pen. And then we'll see the design come up. And then when I pour the resin on, um, it's, it'll cover this, but when I unmold this little gold design uh, will be imprinted onto the resin. So. Yeah, just something a little bit different, you know, rather than having the swirl that we do in the flowers or having crushed rock or glitter or, or whatever, you can do this. The only thing is you will have a slight like indentation where your silicon stamp has been. So if you don't mind that, <clears throat> that's fine. Or you can just um, backfill it later on. Let's put some clear over the top. That'll work as well. Then you can um, have a a nice flat surface but if that doesn't bother you you can just leave it like this and you'll have a little bit of extra texture to it I guess so that's the design there make sure that we've covered everything really well with our little gold pen you can use silver you can use chrome you can use black whatever you like make sure that that's all covered so there we go so that's that now the other thing I want to do is I'll tell you about my resin. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. I did have a little go with the um, Art Coat, and I thought that would. I was I was very hopeful with it, but um, I did a. I've only done two so far, and I don't really see much benefit in using that over the 360 Plus. The benefit of the 360 Plus is I can unmold in six hours. With the um, art coat, I still have to wait, you know, at least 12 hours to unmold. Um, but the actual um, benefits or the result is is very similar. So at the moment, I'm still sticking with the 360 plus. I have asked Des from Platinum to see if he can get me an, a thicker one. You know, like that art class one hour that I was using. That was really thick, and I really loved that. I didn't have to wait for it to thicken. So hopefully um, we'll get something, even if we have to get something made, like a new resin made, but we'll see. So I'm gonna use two pastes. Instead of the white pigment pastes, I'm using this one called White Sand and Smoky Blue. They are both by Lorez. And I'm gonna put just a couple of drops in the center just to make it a little bit darker in the center of um, Azure Blue. Okay, I think that Azure will look nice with this smoky blue. Right, um, 
Let's test the resin's temperature. I want to un unmold, <laughs> decant at 40 degrees. All right, so let's just have a little look and see how it's going. Try not to spill it, but I can't see. You can probably see, but I can't see. I'm aiming it at you, 36. Six, seven. I've got to make sure that I've got the tip in the middle of the resin and not touching the, the side of the plastic cup. It just needs to be in the middle of the resin. 38, 6. Oh, we're nearly there. I stopped stirring at 5 past 8 and now it's about 17 past 8. So normally I would wait about 20 minutes. 39.9. All right, let's do this. It's just about 40 degrees. I'm just going to clean off my little stick. I'm going to spray some alcohol on a bit of paper towel and just clean off that tip there because I don't want resin on it. Otherwise, I won't be able to use it. All righty. Uh, let's just spray. Something else fell in there. Let's just spray the edges with a little bit of alcohol, like so, just to help with the bubbles or lack of bubbles and we'll pour straight over our little stamp it's called a silicone stamp if you're looking for it now in here i'm just going to put oh, say 20 grams let me just weigh it as it's spread see it's gone off to the edges already i'm just going to put like 20 grams i don't need a lot so 18 19 20, so that's about that. Let's do the same in that one. So that's about um, one and a half ounces for combined there. 20 grams in each, 40 grams, about one and a half ounces. I'll put the rest in here. And um, obviously you want the resin to cover your silicone stamp. There's no point putting it in if it's not going to cover it. It's got to be deep enough to cover it. Um, I did an experiment, it was actually last night, Yeah, you will have seen the video before this one, maybe a few days before, where I did the same colours, but um, I didn't fill my mould deep enough, and I didn't get that movement of the resin, so that's why I'm doing it again. Same colours, same size, just adding the stamp, and there's a bubble in there, get out. The bubbles like to cling to things, but I'm hoping that they will come up in time uh, and we can just torch them. But I don't see any bubbles clinging to the side at all, and I think that's because I've sprayed it with, um, with alcohol. So I'm just going to get a little toothpick, a little toothpick, that way I can... Have it handy in case I need to pick anything out. I shouldn't really worry about the top because this is the top, the back. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's get down to the colours. Um, so, what time did I start? Five. So it's 20 past now, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm just going to keep an eye on the time. All right, so this is the white sand. More like a pale yellowy cream colour. We'll just wipe the stick. And then what's left over will go in there. I won't put the lid on just yet in case I need a little bit more. Using my same sticks from the other day. I just cleaned them so that I could use them again. There we go. And that one in there. Let's have a little look. I'll give this a stir and see. So we don't need much lack of paste because there's not much resin in here. There's less than an ounce, only 20 grams. But you don't need very much for the for this petal effect. You tend to use more resin, like coloured resin, when you do it in the piping bags. But I'm I'm going to see if I can do something a little bit different again for you today. I'm going to kind of do like a wavy pattern with my silicone stick brush. I get a lot of questions. What's it called? Um, as far as I know, it's just a silicone brush. 
Um, if you type in maybe silicone makeup brush or silicone stick, silicone brush, something like that into Amazon, um, they'll come up. Let's clean that off and let's have a look at that opacity. It's looking good. Make sure you haven't got any streaks when you're mixing your colour. I'll do the blue. So these colours I think look really pretty together and also with the gold centre because I, I think that's kind of picks up the, the yellowish tones over there in that resin and the yellowy resin. It's kind of a sandy colour. See this, these colours remind me of beaches like you know sand and water. <laughs> Not that water's blue, it's clear. It's just the reflection of the sky. <laughs> Makes it look blue, hey? <laughs> blue water's not actually blue. All right, let's clean that stick off as well, and then I can have a little look and see what it's looking like. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so those are those two sitting there ready. And I've got a little torch just to pop some bubbles and get anything out that needs to get out. I haven't filled the mould up all the way, it's only, probably only halfway full. I'll put that, oh, here, yeah, right, let's do this. Put this in as well. Now, because they splatter sometimes, I tend to, I've been holding my hand like that. So if it splatters, it splatters onto my hand. Oh, gee, there's bubbles inside there. Can't get them out. Let's just do three. And let that kind of spread and that'll be our anchor point like our darkest point um, because I'm probably not going to put any of the colored resin like on top of that um, silicon stamp so I need some color there so the that should work out nicely um, right what am I doing let's test the cup let's just test these let just bear with me I'm just gonna aim it towards me so that I can see what the temperature is doing. I think I've got a little bit of time to wait still. I'm just going to get this back up to 40 degrees because once you've decanted it and it's in a like a, a shallower a little cup here it tends to drop its temperature. So I'm just going to wait again. I looked back on that video of my 3D flower you know the yellow one with the orange and the red or magenta my favorite one so far and this is what I did, so, and I actually waited 25 minutes until I piped. So, it's at 36.6. So I'm gonna come back to you um, in a few minutes. I'm just gonna wait till that gets back up to 40 degrees. Actually, I'm gonna spread this a bit. And there, I'm just going to wait until that's come back up to 40 degrees because that's what I did with my favourite one, like I said. And, um, you know, if you found something that works and the timing that works, do it again because you know it's going to work. Write down what you're doing. That's what I did. I, I keep a journal of every pour that I do, every resin pour. And that way, if something works, then I go, yes, I know what I did, I can recreate that. Because if you don't, it, sometimes it's hard to remember what you've done, especially if you've been doing a few and you're using different resins. Um, I would suggest just picking one resin and just um, working with it, just, you know, with your times and things. It's probably the best idea, best advice I can give you. All right, so that's spread out. And um, yeah, I'll come back to you in a few minutes rather than jabbering on. I know, so it's only been about another three or four minutes. Um, I put another two drops of blue in the center and just made it a little bit darker in the center and so it gets lighter on the outside. Um, now this, it's only at 38 degrees, but it has been 25 minutes, so I'm going to get started. So I'm going by more of the um, the time with this one, decanting at 40 degrees. Otherwise, it just gets too hot sitting in the cup, um, and it'll probably flash cure. So you need to get it out. 
All right, I'm a little bit nervous. If I just use this, no. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to do like a sort of try and mimic the pattern that's that's there, sort of thing. Do need to make this colour thicker though, otherwise it won't spread. So just like a little. little wavy thing but yeah I do need to make it thicker it just won't work all right so that's the blue that's my first ring now I'll change over to the yellow let's clean off my stick I can use them again I think I need to I need to actually make them a little bit like a little bit more pronounced I think like this <laughs> I'm not doing I'm not doing it is it doing it <laughs> oh gosh Need to have them thicker or it's not gonna work. Trying to do them more pronounced, it's difficult. All right, clean that one off. Let's go to the blue again. I'm just trying to make some like wavy patterns. Just remember to make them thick enough, your colour, otherwise they won't spread properly if they're not thick enough. You need enough, enough colour for them to actually spread. If you just do a really thin line, it, it's not going to spread very far, is it? Come back and do those again, I think. All those. Although it should, I don't know, it should be alright. We'll see. See how much of time I've got left, because the resin is going to start to to thicken up and once it starts to thicken up it's not going to move as well as as it could so oops I dripped a drop now where I've got a blob like that you need to try and smooth that blob out Okay, let's change again to the blue. Oh, I'm a bit off center. Why am I always off center? I'm always off center. I don't know why. So with my little stick here, I'm actually going into the resin. I'm not just sitting it on top. My stick is going about halfway in. I'm not touching the bottom, but it's just going into the resin. I was hoping to get another row of white or of the yellow, but a little bit off center. How's that going to work? I'll try. Doesn't matter if they go over each other. Won't matter at all. It's all going to blend in beautifully. All right, here we go with the last of the yellow and on the last one I'm going to sort of bring it down to match or to touch that blue it's kind of what I was wanting to do with the whole thing but it didn't eventuate for some reason <laughs> it didn't it didn't do it Just put a little bit over the top of this only because I want it to be cohesive and look as if it's all blending okay 
So that's pretty much all I can do. Again, if you've got blobs, try and thin them out a little bit because if they're heavy, that's where you're going to get your blobbing on the other side. So just try and smooth them out a little bit. All right, that's it. Look, I'm, I'm not going to do any more. I tend to over overdo things and fuss and fiddle. So clean off that. So that's that's all I'm going to do. And um, hopefully, 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 we'll get some nice movement. Um, yeah. Right. Let's give it a last little torch. My heat gun's packed, so I've only got my torch. I'm hoping I haven't left it too long. Like I said, I was going by my previous video of my favourite one. My favourite bloom, so hopefully it will work. Let me just clean up and then I will bring you down for a close-up. You know I like to do that. <laughs> Alright, hopefully this is going to work. Bring this blue in a little bit here into where those little petals are going to be like so just to define that you don't have to but I just think maybe it'll look nicer if I have a bit of definition in some of these hmm where else where else just a little bit more kind of movement because I didn't pipe the way well I didn't pipe full stop but I didn't do it exactly the way I was hoping to do it so a little bit of a little bit of definition of those ends oh look you guys it's doing it it's doing it all right i'm gonna bring you down let me get my gloves off i'll clean these and then i can use these again reuse where i can that's for sure oh my gosh i hope it works i hope it works it's always nerve-wracking isn't it we're at this stage where you think oh my gosh is it going to work or not uh, let's get you down I have to climb down my ladder and then walk all the way around my island bench so it's easier just to do it like this put you on pause while I'm doing that all right let's have a little look at the edges they look as if they're moving it does take a little while for everything to move you know it's resin it's it's um, not a landslide. It's going to take its time to move. Mm, where can I see a little bit that I want to fix? Ah, just leave it. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that, um, that it'll come into the middle. With my other one I did in these colours, you would have noticed that um, if you saw my video, that centre there didn't really close up all the way. Uh, and because I poured it so thin, I hardly had any resin in here. It was like a, a quarter full. So it didn't move very much. I didn't, the centre didn't close up. So um, that's another reason why I've put the stamp in the middle. Just in case your resin doesn't close up. Um, but also it's going to look really pretty, especially with that sort of dark area over the top. And then I can put some gold around the edge. So I will come back to it in um, about an hour and see if it's, if it's changed, if it's closing in. Cross your fingers for me. See you soon. So I've decided I'm going to do a top coat. Well, actually a bottom coat, but you know what I mean. Um, only because not all the petals have closed up. Um, using my little stick here, not enough, I don't think enough, like coloured resin hung onto the edges so some of the areas I had a very thin little trail 
um, which I told you about was not going to spread. So I've got some little gaps. So what colour? Um, I'm going to try this midnight blue and see what it looks like. If it's not dark enough, I'll go with a, a little bit of black. But I just want like a, a, a smoky, dark, bluey, black kind of a colour. So we'll see how this goes. Start with three drops of that. That's the midnight blue. And if it's too blue blue, <laughs> I'll put some black in it to darken it. Because I want a really smoky colour, but I don't want just black. So that was three drops of blue. And now it's too blue. Let's do three drops of black. It's just the black violets resin. three drops of that one put that over there and I don't mix their lids up and see if that's going to be any better it doesn't it doesn't have to be opaque I don't want it to be opaque I still want a little bit of transparency um, because I've got that bit of transparency transparency in the petals and I just think it looks pretty to follow that through rather than have a totally opaque look at the see the little streaks there on the sticks that's not mixed in properly yet I'm gonna make sure you mix the inks really really well otherwise you get streaks and it kind of spoils the look so mix it really well now it looks really dark in there doesn't it but to test to see exactly what it's going to look like we'll just put a bit on this paper towel and that'll give us an idea of what it's going to look like Okay, I think I'd like a little bit more black. I'm going to go with another two drops of black. It's looking a little bit too blue still. So that was five drops of black and three drops of the midnight blue. And in my cup here, I have got the Platinum 360 Plus. See, so it's only been three hours and um, I can touch this. Um, it's great for people that do want to backfill. Um, it's still bendy. I mean, you could unmold it if you wanted to, but I want to do the top coat. So it's, yeah, great for doing the top coats. So this is the same, the 360 plus. So obviously we're just going to have to add on another six hours <laughs> for demolding. But it's better than waiting 12 hours to do the top coat and then another 24 hours after that to unmold. So, yeah, love it. Okay, that's looking a little bit bluer. I'm just going to put another two drops of black in and then that'll that'll do. Put the lids on or move them away. Otherwise, I'm going to take up too much time. Okay, I've got ink on my gloves. All right, let's see what that looks like now. I'll give that another stir. So yeah, there's, there's a couple of areas where the petals haven't bloomed properly. I just don't know what happened up here. I'm, I'm trying to work out whether or not it's the alcohol like if I you know how I spray my mold with alcohol I'm, it seems that every time I do that I get some petals that don't form properly so I might stop doing that so I did that on this one and these ones here haven't formed properly so anyway we'll see you don't know until you work these things out eh? so I think I'll stop spraying my molds with the alcohol um, and next time I want to actually try, I'm going to try leaving the resin colour on the stick and doing the petals with that because I think it'll hold more because it's wider than just the little end of the point there. See, you can hold a lot more. So I'm going to do that and we'll try that, okay? So there's a couple of different things we're going to try. All right, so let's have a look at this. Okay, that's more of what I'm after. Righto, let's pour it on. Make sure it's clean. Pour it on. So I've got 60, um, no, what did I do? I did 50 grams of A and 22 grams of B in the Platinum 360 Plus. You can get the Platinum 360 Plus in a lot of countries now. Um, Platinum have got a manufacturer, oh, what did he say? I think you said they were manufacturing it over in the US now, or a fact, yeah, factory there, or distribution over in the US. So that and the um, the Platinum 360 Plus and the Platinum Ultra Clear. So you should be able to get both of those. 
if you're not in a country maybe that you can't get it from, just email them. I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. Very helpful people. Just email them. The details, the website is down below in the description. So just click on their website and you can go to contact us and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. Okay, that's covered. See, it's gone a really nice sort of dark smoky blue, hasn't it? That's exactly what I wanted. And I think it'll be really pretty against this this light smoky blue. See, they match quite well, don't they? So that's what I was going for. Just torch that for bubbles. All right, so basically that's all I'm going to do. I think I'm running out of fuel in there. So I'm gonna cover that. Now, I, I don't particularly like putting a bowl or something on the surface here. I like to have airflow coming through. So what I do is, I make a little stand, because yeah, I, I think it gets too hot. You know how resin gets hot when it cures? And I think it gets too hot if you like put your container down on the surface and then there's no airflow. So I like to do it like this. And before you cover it over, make sure that there's no hairs. A little streaky bit there. Give it one last torch. Although it is the back. And then I'm just going to cover it with a little container. Make sure that it's sitting on each corner before you let go. And that's it. So that'll stop dust and things from flying in and settling on, but it's still got the airflow underneath. Okay, so that's just what I like. Righto, so that's it. For me for today I will come back to you in the morning and uh, we will unmold it's the next day and we've all set up here nice and hard and set it's not bendy at all what's that so oh let's have a look shall we the best part of the day I go to sleep wondering how it's going to be and the first thing I think about when I wake up is oh I've got something to unmold how exciting Are you guys the same do you really look forward to unmolding ah, take that out there we go alrighty this is it I hope it's turned out nicely but yeah I do want to do it again <laughs> do things again so I'm not that happy with them no um just see if I can put a little bit more paste on right, I'll try and hold it this way because if I hold it that way I got the ring light so I have to hold it this way all right are we ready one two three oh look at that wow look you can see they had that little bit of movement on the side there look at that what do you think of that do you like it little gold see it matches if you put a bit of gold around the edges like that now, I'm not a hundred percent happy with that with the the blooms I've got a little bit of blobbiness there don't know why maybe I just put on too much there there was a little a few little areas where I thought oops I've dropped too much in I should probably try this uh, resin with the piping bag. Okay, now let's see if I can get this little guy out. I think I'm going to need, because you can see he's stuck in there. I'm just going to grab a, a toothpick, see if that will help. I just need to get the very little edge out. And then I'll be able to lift it. I should try, oh, where can I do it that I'm not going to get my hands in the way? Feel that back with your nail. Whoops. Oh, look at that. A little bit tricky. Just got to get in there and start the process. No, that's not going to do it. <laughs> Let me get something else. A little pair of scissors. That should be strong enough. That's not going to snap. 
but you just have to be careful that you don't break your stamp. I think I've got it. I think I've got the end. Sorry, if you can't see. There we go. I think I've got it. By Joe, I think she's got it. Okay, and now I just have to gently pull all the way around. I don't know that you can actually see. <laughs> you know how I put that um, blue ink in the back there? You probably can't see it now because I've done that top coat. Hey. There we go, last little bit. Let go of my stamp. Just do it carefully, you don't want to break your stamp. And there it is. It's actually got quite a bit of texture to it, that, that one. I didn't realise it's quite, um, quite like raised in some areas. I don't know if you can see. It's so pretty. But yeah, the, me putting the um, ink in the back was kind of pointless because I covered it with a top coat. If you weren't covering with a top coat, um, you know, you'd see it, but yeah, you can't really see it there. So, but yeah, look, it was an experiment. Some experiments don't always work. Now let me go and grab my gold pen and we'll see what it looks like with the gold edge. I've got this one. I have been using the Deco colour, but I bought this one because it popped up on my Facebook feed and it looked really amazing. <laughs> it's got a very, very big, thick nib. So anyway, I don't think I've actually used it to um, edge anything, so I'll give it a go, hey? I don't think I need any trimming, she says, as she finds a bit that needs trimming. Oh, I'll come back to that bit start here. I'm not quite sure how to use this one now. I guess I'll have to do it that way. No? A bit thicker than that. Should still be able to do it the same as with the other pen. Let's put the nib on. Oh my gosh. No, don't go over the edge. If I can get that off real quick with some alcohol. I think if you make a mistake, you've got to get it off pretty quickly. All right. I'll look at what I'm doing rather than through the camera screen, okay? That way I'm not going to sort of try not to make a mistake. Gosh, try not to make a mistake. This has got a very rounded nib on it, so it's probably not quite as easy as the other pen, the Deco colour. It's got more of a flat nib. I found it a little bit easier, but I just have to find something to press on, like find that edge of the resin to kind of press on. And press down. Oh, that's better. Now I'm getting a thicker line. That's better. All the way around. I think doing it towards me is a little bit easier. It's going to go slow so that you don't make a mistake like I did before. Yes, yeah, so pressing straight down with this pen is seems to work better if you want to do two coats you'll just need to wait for it to dry this first coat otherwise if you go over it again you tend to pick up what you've just put down <laughs> you don't want to do that All right let me put my lid on so I don't make a mess and look I've dropped something there a little drip I wonder if I can get that off Is it coming off? Yes, it came off. Right. Always best to clean up things as you go along. So there we go. What do you think? I just finished it off nicely, didn't it, with the gold edge? It's 
it's really pretty. I might try this with the um, the same, if you don't mind seeing the same colours again, <laughs> um, with the 360 plus resin. I don't know why I got some movement there, but um, yeah, there it is anyway. And we've got our little gold centre. So if you wanted to, you could top coat. Uh, if your mould's getting a bit old and it's not as shiny as it used to be, you can just top coat that and fill that in. Um, otherwise you can just leave it like that because I'm not 100% happy with it I'm not going to do anything else to it it'll just go in my pile of experiments uh, but yeah there it is hope you've enjoyed the video hope you've learnt something it's always good if you can learn something and uh, I'll see you for the next one let me know what you think of these little stamps if you want to see more with, with those <laughs> alright take care everyone See you for the next video. Bye for now.